When we look at the amount of alone time we actually get in the grand scheme of life, it's basically a small sliver of this whole entire experience. And I think if you're in a phase where you get to spend a little bit more alone time with yourself than, you know, you may in the rest of your life or you have in the past of your life, it's important to utilize this time properly and actually get the most of it. I think sometimes when we're around our parents or our kids or our partners or our friends, we perform for them or we end up showing up as our best selves for them. Whereas when we're with ourselves, sometimes we fall into this loop of being on autopilot and just mindlessly scrolling on our phones or not really doing anything specific to spend time with ourselves. And I think it's important to actually use our love languages and the way that we love other people as a way to also love ourselves. I'm gonna be making a whole video on that in a little bit, but this video is basically gonna be talking about how to utilize your alone time and some of the things that I do to actually make sure I'm spending quality time with myself and not just wasting time with myself. Your alone time is precious. So let's get into the video. If you're new here, by the way, I'm Erin. I post a little peek into my life and also my mind, sharing my thoughts and my perspectives and just my daily routines and all that sort of stuff. So if you're interested, definitely subscribe. And if you are subscribed, you know that I love you. And thank you for coming back. Okay, so here are tonight's essentials. I think I'm gonna watch Casablanca on my TV today. I've actually never watched that movie and it keeps coming up in my life recently, so I figured I should just try it and watch it. I like old movies, so I feel like I'll like it if I can find it on somewhere. Hopefully I'll be able to find it. Um, I also have this little picture etch thing that I'm gonna play with. Got this from the dollar store, by the way. I have a box of chocolates in case I want a few little pieces of chocolate. And then also I have my journal here, which I just actually wrote in when I was in the bath, as well as my book. I've been reading my book to fall asleep lately, and it's been incredible for me. Like, I'm hooked on this series, so it's really easy for me to want to continue to read. It takes a while for me to actually get into a series or into a book in general, but once I do, it's like I can't put it down. I also have my brush over there because I want to brush my hair. I also just put on some body lotion. Uh, Miko's in bed eating his bone right now. I have a little bit of tea and yeah, the vibes are set. We're feeling good. I also forgot that we're gonna turn on this little moonlight here that I have. It's literally so cute, I'm obsessed with this. I got this from Walmart the other day, or actually a few weeks ago. And it's beside my little plant that my best friend gave me and it just looks so cute on my little nightstand and I love my moon, so anyways, yeah. I want to talk about little things that I do to make the most out of my alone time. The first thing I'm going to talk about is expression. So when I say expression, I'm talking about dancing, blasting music, singing. If you're in a space where you can do this, whether it's in the car or in the shower or in your room or whatever, blast your music and make your alone time fun. Like you don't have to be sitting in silence or just having on like whatever in the background. It's time for you. So you get to pick exactly what song you want to play and you get to actually make choices for yourself based off of what you want. Treat yourself like your loved one and cater to yourself as if you are a loved one. The next thing I'm going to talk about are hobbies. This can be things like painting, like drawing, like sewing, like sketching. Here I was just sewing a few pieces that I wanted to fix. I love just playing with fashion and honestly just like bringing out my inner child and playing in general. You don't have to be perfect at something in order to do it. So if you feel like you can't dance or sing or paint or draw or whatever it is because you're not a professional, that is quite literally the opposite of playing. You're doing it just for the intense presence that it brings you when you're doing said thing. 
And the last thing I'm gonna talk about is learning. I feel like growing up, I had this impression that I didn't enjoy learning or that I was, you know, not a smart student or just all of those things. And it really shaped the narrative I had on learning. But as I've grown up, I've realized that I have an intense obsession with learning and it just depends on the subjects. So for me personally, I love to learn about the religions. I love to learn about everything spirituality. But if you're someone who really enjoys learning about sports or cooking or, you know, um, becoming a parent or whatever it is, whatever interest you have, really throw yourself into that passion and throw yourself into learning about that topic. When you have an interest in something that's special, like that is your soul's way of telling you that that is something that you should follow. It's like a moth being drawn to the light and it's basically the same thing. Follow your passions, follow your interests, where your eye is drawn to, look into it a little further and like, you know, deep dive into those areas of your life and you might find that it ends up being your soul's purpose or your entire career falls out from it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of short and sweet, but I hope you enjoyed seeing me do some of the little tasks that I've done the past few days. I love you so, 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 so much. And if you are having some alone time right now, turn off your TV, turn off your phone, turn off whatever it is and go and really do something that you enjoy. Don't just mindlessly scroll or listen to things that don't actually fuel you. If you're more purposeful about what you're consuming, you'll start to notice that your thoughts become more purposeful as well. You're not just mindlessly thinking about X, Y, and Z because that's what you've been thinking about constantly in the past. You might start to actually form new beliefs and more thoughts that are more beneficial to your life. So yeah. Anyways, I'm done rambling. Goodbye guys.